y'all got to see this baby. All right, this truck stop posted, it was our Caucasian cashier, Rachel, just had a new baby with her white ass husband. The baby's name is Cash Jamal. <laughs> Why he got to be white ass? The post comes with an explanation. Why he got to be all that? Paul is the father. And Rachel has African-American DNA in her, which can skip generations and cause a child to be born with darker skin. The baby is also a discolored because it has jaundice or something. Probably. <laughs> oh. Oh. Rachel. Yeah, Rachel, come on. You know good and hell well. <laughs> that baby does not have jaundice. That baby has jaquandus. Jaquan. Deshaundus. Jaquan. Lebrondus. Lebron does not have jaundice. He was getting that man dongus is what happened. Rachel has African-American DNA in her. Yeah, I bet she does. I bet she was getting a lot about nine months ago. Y'all got to see this baby. Ain't no way Rachel going to convince this man that that's his baby. certain things i just don't have no comment bro to be honest with you i don't want to force it and say something way out the way to get to get these people to cancel me but at the same time rachel rachel come on now oh my god and he slid <laughs> and he slid Hey, bro, if I fall like that, I don't care where the hell I was going. I'm going back in the house. Oh, man. That's that old shit. Like, falling in slow motion, but he ain't falling in slow motion. My boy fell and then slid. I think that's what did it for me. I was so uncomfortable. Um, so I finally get around to my set. Now I want you to notice he's looking around everywhere. Make sure nobody's looking. He has his phone in his hand. Mm -hmm. And just briefly, after he walks through, you can see that he's going to lift his camera up. He's going to take a quick snapchat with the, fan yep, with the finger, put it right back down. When I was not looking, of course, because Get that's what the predators do. Yo, and then you call this man a predator. First off, baby girl, you ain't even got no cheeks like that to be acting like this man. Oh, my. This is why it'd be so hard to go to the gym now. Fucking creep. And I am so glad that I did not see you do this because if I did, I'd be in jail and you'd be in the hospital. You'd have got. This is one of the worst videos I've ever had to do. Women are absolutely victims of harassment in the gym, but you are not one of them. This man is not taking a photo of you, which everyone in the comments, men and women, seems to get but you. It looks to me like he lifts his phone up slightly to use facial recognition to unlock it. Not to mention his finger is literally over the camera lens. And at that angle, he'd be taking a photo of, of the, the ground, floor. Yes. Not you. Then you go and you threaten this man. You call him a predator. You call him and the you B share word. the location of his gym. Really? This gym choose fitness should kick your ass out. And that man, if possible, should press charges against you. Yes. You need to do better. Facts. Mind your own business. All right, so after Joey Swole came on, I tried to find her page, and she deactivated her TikTok. She deactivated her Facebook. Well, not her Facebook, her Instagram, so I couldn't find her because I don't see what's so special to make you feel as though, dude, try to take a picture of your non-existent cheeks. <laughs> it is so hard being a man. Y'all should see the women at the gym, bro. The women at the gym literally dress provocatively and try to get you to look. Hey, hey, come in. How you? Let me ask you a question. Come. What are you doing? Being silly. You caught me slipping on camera last time. How I caught you slipping? I was looking crazy. I was looking no. like... You will never be slipping forever. You be yes. thinking you sl You look good. I don't... Babe, hey, my edges look to be even lame. Nothing to... Mm -mm. You look good. I got a waist. Okay, I'm not just a provocative but Okay, I'm intermittent fasting. 
the camera. Oh, she's pretty from the side. I wasn't talking about her. Oh. Hey, look at this video right here. I already said my piece, but you can add your two cents. Why? You gonna, I'm going to get 2% of the two cents? Stop. You're already getting I know, I'm just joking with you. I'm just joking with you. I'm just joking with you. I was so uncomfortable. Um, fine, so I finally get around to my set. Now I want you to notice he's looking around everywhere. Make sure nobody's looking. He has his phone in his hand. Mm -hmm. And just briefly, after he walks through, you can see... That I can't see. He's gonna lift his camera up and take a quick I snapshot with the fan. Yep, with the finger, put it right back down. When I was not looking, of course, because that's what predators do. Fucking creep. And I am so glad that I did not see you do this because if I did, I'd be in jail and you'd be in the hospital, bitch. This is one of the worst videos I've ever had to do. Women are absolutely victims of harassment in the gym. But you are not one of them. This man is not taking a photo of you, which everyone in the comments, men and women, seems to get but you. It looks to me like he lifts his phone up slightly to use facial recognition to unlock it. Not to mention his finger is literally over the camera lens. Oh. And at that angle, he'd be taking a photo of the ground, not you. Then you go and you threaten this man. You mm -hmm. call him a predator and you share the location of his gym. Really? This Jim Choose Fitness should kick your ass out. And that man, if possible, mm -hmm. should press charges against you. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Mm. Get her, so Joey. Let me ask you a question. How do you feel about women, right? That wear poom poom shorts with the poom poom print and the cheeks out in the gym. And they have a problem when men look. Now, in this situation, he wasn't even looking because yeah, we're not going to discuss that. Her right? cheeks is non-existent. But it doesn't matter. It does. Uh -uh. Some men like it. Could have been a print, but he wasn't looking, so that's obvious. We're not talking about that. How do you feel about that? I feel like the only issue is I think with the whole like men looking thing because when a lot of women who dress like that. They feel liberated to know that they have a nice body. They want to show it off. And even if men look, it's like, it's liberating. Like, yeah, look, but you can't touch. You can't have it. But okay. if you're going to, you know, kind of play a victim to men looking, it's just like. Put yeah. some clothes on. Not put some clothes on. No, put some damn clothes on if you're going to be a victim. But no, it's not even that. Because it's like, you could have clothes on and be pretty and men still going to look. Okay. But I'm saying, like, I guess it, to your point, it's like. Women who do that, they know what they're doing, and they most of them, they can handle the attention that come with it. Like, men shouldn't be creeps, but it's just like, if they're going to look, it's like, they know. Like, my ass almost out. Look at it. What you think I'm working out for? Please, adore. But my thing, what about the ones that play victim? That's like a... I feel like it's like a slight psychological disorder. Mm. Preach. Go ahead and preach. Oh, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and you you were supposed to do that when like it's some negativity. When it's <laughs> when it's disagreeing. I feel as though you could use the polo signs or how you want to use the polo signs. okay. You're right. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, yes. It's Pre in your hands. I right, preach. Go ahead and say what I you guys. I just think that's just a slight A psychological disorder. Yeah, I to think your so point, too. This, like she has a slight to me. That's slightly yeah, because her cheeks psychological. Ain't no cheeks. But it does, even if she did, and the man wasn't looking, it, a woman with a big butt and a nice print was doing that position, and he had his phone in the same way. He still wouldn't have been looking, and she still could have been accusing him. So it's not about her body or her figure. It's just like in your mind, you want somebody to be a predator because maybe you have been victimized before, but you don't have to keep yourself. In that same cycle, in that same scenario. Damn, that's real. That's real. I came down here though, because I need to go outside and get water from the car. So is that going to disturb you, your recording, or can I go get that real quick? How you get water going to disturb my recording? I have to go outside. It's in my car. It's opening the door and coming back. You know how you are. 
Oh, no, nah, it's just when y'all be with y'all heavy ass feet running up and down up top. Heavy ass feet? I have to walk my heavy ass feet outside and back inside. You walked your ass downstairs, obviously. What the? And if you would have been like, that's too far of a distance, I would have waited. I'm asking you. It's too far. Roger, don't act like you're not particular. You when you when Just say you miss me. No, no, and you wanted no, to come down here no, and hang baby. out. When you, when you shoot your videos, did you not say they about to shoot the video? When I was hoping they came upstairs with his So y'all wouldn't run around upstairs. I don't know what's too much and too little. I'm making sure that me going outside to get the water will not disturb your creative process. And you know what? I had to go to the dentist today and get x-rays. That's why I don't have no earrings in my ear. Because usually I would have earrings. Nobody cares. You think they don't. Care. A woman at my age without earrings? You're not old. It's not that I'm not. After the age of 18, you got no earrings in your ear. It's a problem. 16. Alright, look at this next video with me. And then and then you can go. Can you laugh on the screen? I really can't see. You'll never understand what possessed me back in 2015. After just learning about law of attraction for the first time, to walk into a Whole Foods and decide that the universe was going to pay for my groceries. <laughs> I pretty much walked in there with $5 to my name and just started putting every single thing I wanted into my basket. I was probably in the store for like 30 minutes. Who paid for that shit? And I ended up getting to the cashier with a completely full basket. Who paid for the it? entire time this is happening, I'm thinking, okay, like, where's it going to come it? from? Where's the money to pay for my groceries? So while I'm in line, the cashier is ringing up every single thing in my basket, and I'm getting to the very end. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, dang, this is going to be so crazy if I have to walk out of here right now. Like, what's going on? Your faith, bitch. What happened? Right? As she's getting to, like, the last two or three items, my phone dings. And it's a Venmo from someone who owed me money from, like, a year and a half earlier. It was super random. I had completely forgotten about it. And it was exactly enough. Like, I think it was like $5 more than what I needed. Boy, hold on. I ain't gonna lie to you. If she had said she got a Venmo for some random... Lord, have mercy. And what does she... Do? Oh! Does it matter where it comes oh, from? Uh, yes, it did. Thank God it's somebody that owe her ass money. Because if she had said she got a Venmo from some random ass trying to get some cheeks... I would have been. <clears throat> I ain't going. You sound like a hater. Who hating? Why would you be mad if it was from somebody? But the fact that she said she was gonna get the money to pay for her groceries and she allowed it to happen—that's the the bigger picture. What's the difference between the video when the girl was in Trader Joe's and the man just randomly gave her flowers compared to like if he would have gave her money to pay for her groceries? I'm just asking. Because they both were unexpected gifts. So, like. Also, you got a lot in your cart. Here. Let me ask you a question. All right? If I was to give a, a young lady who was having a bad day flowers, how would you feel? two ways about it I would one I'd be like you have such a nice heart but then I'd be like what the fuck you did that alright if I was to give her money how would you feel same you so nice but why you did that if I gave her money yeah it's still a gesture like Whatever gesture you offer, it's just like you so sweet, you would put but it's me like, giving, why would you do So that? you would put me giving a young lady flowers and me giving a young lady money on the same Yeah, plateau? because the fact that you want to give to her, to her means your heart is open in some way towards her. And because, like, I love you and I trust you, I'm not automatically going to think it's, like, off of pure attraction. I'm going to be like, oh, and Besides be attraction, so you wouldn't feel no type of way if I just gave... You you put those on the same but level, you, the you, flowers and the money. Yeah, you've told me before that you pay people in, behind you. Like, what's the difference? You you give it, you gave that person money. You didn't say whether it was a male or female, but you was like, I pay extra for the person behind me just sometimes to do it. It's an act of kindness. 
But I feel like we kind of get off track. The fact we're not getting off track. I just didn't know. I know it's women out here who feel as though if you taking money outside of the house, that's a big no no. So I I didn't know that you put the value of money in flowers on the same level. That's kind of interesting. Because it's like to me, it's energy. It's like. Again, it's the act of giving. What you give is your choice, but it's the fact that you opened your heart enough to give, which will make me think, what did you see in this person to do that? Because I know the kind of person you are. You Like, we was talking about energy and, like, how I was like, you know, I want you to... All the extra energy that you have after you finish working your job and doing YouTube, I wanted to go into helping me with my business. Okay. And remember, I was like... You know, you was telling me about situations where you was going to lend your hand, your extra energy outside of the household to other people. And I was like, right now is not a good time for that because I need your energy. And as your wife, I'm your priority. But if like, I would, you know, you had energy allotted for yourself and your endeavors and my endeavors. And then you had some extra energy left over to help other people. I would have no problem with that because, again, it's the gesture. It's the giving. Like the girl was saying in the video, like her being, she made a declaration and she was open to receiving it. The giving was in the Venmo that came. It's all just exchange. You know, I don't put, I do like money, of course, but I don't put it above roses or flowers in terms of a gift because it's the intention and energy behind what you're doing. And because I love you and I trust you. Of course, I'm a woman. I'm be like, oh wait a minute, why you do that? But then I know how you are. Like, how you know when I met you, you kind of have an inclination for people. You have a kind heart. But I mean, if you just out here, first of all, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on now. I do have a kind heart, but I ain't soft. And I did, did I call you? I said you have a I, kind heart. I didn't nah, see you, you saying, was soft. When you met me, I was I was, I was with shit. I think you're taking what I'm... I'm saying you have no, a no, good I'm, judge I'm of playing with you. Character. I'm sitting, relax. I, I no, don't, I don't. I really... I don't have a good judge of character. We know that for sure. You always telling me who I should and should not mess with? You know it's... You know it's up. I have a good judge of character for other people. I be meddling in people's business. I have a good judge of... <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we, we know. I mean... We know. I be you meddling in that. people's business. Who the, like? You I like that looking at me in the blondes. Looking at people cook. I am... <laughs> I no. Let's be honest. I am that nigga in the blind. Yeah, you are. The fuck. Okay, as long as you know. As Sorry. long as you know. My. Mm. I was finna say something. What you was finna say? No, I was finna snitch. On who? I can't. Snitch. Not one of my friends. No. Who? Oh no. We're not I, doing yeah, that. I can't. I know. Mm. I can't. I'm <laughs> not doing that. Woo! Not today. I, oh. I'm gonna get myself some water. Shout out to you, girl. Okay, look, I knew it was gonna happen. You don't think it's you a bit? You cannot deny. You don't think it's a bit of a bit of per, pretty privilege in that? No, because she's, somebody owed her. I'm saying though, the like, universe was like, "Damn, girl, you fine. We're gonna do it for you." No, no, I'm just saying, like, you just said it's somebody who owed her. How was it pretty? Privilege? Yeah, but before the person who owed her sent her money, right? They've been on her money. Mm-hmm. Let me let you finish. You don't feel as though. It's a bit of priv- pretty privilege that she could have went out there and some random man could have found a damsel in distress. Even though that's not she happened. threw it, even though I, Go ahead. I, I'm saying before the person who owed her money gave her money, yeah, you don't feel as though it was a bit of pretty privilege that some young man or old man, some, usually it's the old niggas. Would have found a damsel in distress and paid for her groceries. You don't well, think that no, that, that might have been a thought in the back of her mind? Now I'm, I'm just on, for a second. Can my I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm talking too I, much. She definitely does have pretty privilege, right? So there could have been other instances in which, like, she walked into a bar or a restaurant and didn't have to pay, and she could have made the same declaration. And the way that it got fulfilled was through a man who found her pretty. 
But that's what I like that it was this example where it was someone who owed her money. So it had nothing to do with like another man. It was a person that had an outstanding debt that got paid right then and there when she needed it because she called upon the universe to make it happen. Which shows that even if you may feel like you're not as pretty as her or you don't have free privilege, that it doesn't matter. It doesn't always have to come from a man, which is what beautiful women actually know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when you are pretty, it's, oh, I know. it's up to you to decide, you know, if I you're going to use that. We know. No, no, I don't even think like that. I, honestly, I think... You I, don't think like that, but it No, no, happen. I'm just saying because a lot of, like, what the conversation is about, like, have, getting a man, finding a man, attracting a man, I think it comes from, you know, women who don't really have pretty privilege or don't man, look... What you mean? I think, like, it's, it's different calibers of women, right? Yeah. So you have, like, pretty women who are always being, you know, approached by men. Okay. And because they're always being approached by men, they don't look at men or other women like competition when it comes to a man. Because it's like they always have attention from men. Okay. And you have other women who don't really have that pretty privilege, but they have to, you know, they make themselves attractive and they make it their duty to stand out. Okay. You know, to men. So I'm what I'm saying is that I feel like in her situation, she understands that, yes, she is gorgeous. She, that could work in her favor and it probably has without her even trying. She don't even have to be a damsel in distress. That's what I'm saying. Like, a man could just find you could find her beautiful and want to give her something. And she don't even have to act like she's stressed. You know, she could just be in her, I'm floating and push adding things to my car. And he's like, oh my God. Damn. Let me just pay for your groceries, girl. That's the least I can fucking do. I really want to get you down. But I'm going to settle for paying for your groceries. You know what I'm saying? Like, here you go. But that wasn't even the story. I know, but we back on this again. Did it? What? You put that up. You said damn you in distress. I, I did. I did. I we didn't back, bring it up. Back. Yeah. I didn't bring that up. Let me tell you something. If any old out here... I ain't gonna ask you this question because I don't... I'm married. I was, automatically, the answer is no. Right. We have used your pretty privileges in the past, though. When? We we have benefited from your pretty, pretty privileges in the past. So, for y'all Me who and think, you? Yes. When? The cars. Them African got a thing for the net. There you go. Hold on, hold on. Look, let me tell you something. Them African niggas got a thing for the net. And the way they be trying to get at them chicks. Roger, first of all, let me, it could have been my Oh, stop, been my stop, brains. stop. He was my tutor. Like, it could have been my brains. Pause. Oh, yeah, it could have been my. I mean, he knew I was smart. We studied together. Your brains? Who says brains for that? Your brains? Who says brains for that? I'm saying, but it's not like he was like, let me give you the car. You like, couldn't choose we no other Okay, way? but we study together, and then he will always oh, see me coming God. to see you. Oh! <laughs> and I asked you if I could accept the gift. And you drove the car. And it was an Aspire. He making it sound like it was some nice-ass car. It was free nonetheless, but it was an Aspire. And then Calm the, other, the ever African dude with the, uh, the Camry. Was it a Camry? It was a Camry. Oh, yeah. He wanted them cheeks. I could have got it for free, but yeah. When I when I showed up, my boy. It was. Oh no! You mentioned you said what? I mentioned you. Yeah. Like, oh, you I mentioned you me. mentioned me. Oh, that's why he charged you because you mentioned me. I think so. I think that's what he's talking about because he was he was saying he was trying to sell it and you know, and then he mentioned he would have like gave it to me. So I'm like, mm I paid for a little hoopty. It's not that deep. But it's it be casual. That's what I'm saying. It don't ever what be car, like, oh, give me the cheeks. No, what car did I pull up in when we went to get it? Did I have the Mustang or did I have the... I don't know because I don't do what, you know. You don't do... Oh, God. You know y'all yeah, like to mess each other's dick size. Oh, like shit. His dick definitely shrunk when I pulled... I think I had the Mustang. His dick definitely shrunk when I pulled up in that... Zoom, zoom. Yeah, he he wasn't expecting that. I guess he thought your, 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 your man was broke and you needed a car or whatever. But, you know. 
<laughs> I never understand y'all. It's never that what deep. What you mean? It's a car has four wheels and four fucking doors. <laughs> Alright, so the next day we go on, we gonna go on my work in my work car. Okay. Are you saying that because the work car not even that bad? No, I don't care. As long as I'm with you. And then honestly, you wouldn't be so stressed if you took the work car. So it will, I could enjoy yeah. you better. Yeah, you won't be thinking about in the back of your mind who's looking at my car. Somebody trying to take my shit. Do I have my strap on me? Like, and you be stressing me out. So please, let's take the Camry. <laughs> like, or you take my Buick. I don't care. Take my little mouse car because it's zap and zoop. Okay, I bought that car to to to, to flex on niggas. Nah, because I like that car. It's affordable horsepower. It's affordable. That's I, mean, I don't want to hear nothing when I have my hand out because you could afford your affordable horsepower, so you could afford this affordable horsepower too. <laughs> Alright, go upstairs because you, you're giving me thoughts and I ain't, I'm trying to be productive. Bye. We ain't even finished watching the video. I already did here. More power to her. What's her Instagram? I want to follow her. I don't know. She's pretty and she's spiritual. Okay. Kind of Alright. I don't got no comment. This is gonna be the thumbnail though, but I don't got no comment. That that joint is huge. That is huge. That's a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of women, dog.